This is an unboxing of a, a package from Bresser, Germany. And uh, let's open it and see what is it. They had a sale and I bought something on that sale. I learned about it from a forum and uh, astronomical forum. One of the people was suggesting that, oh, there is a sale here and about this. And I thought, oh, that's what I wanted. Actually, I was after it. Uh, they were very expensive by then. Now I got it for a good price. Let me see what is inside and then we will you will, I will show you what is it anyway. Let's go. Okay, let's see what is inside. Hmm. Well packed for something which has to come from Germany. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing will be wasted. We use these things for chickens. There is more packaging here, and this package, what is inside, is huge. Let me just extract it out uh -huh. and put it on the table. Okay, let me put it on the table. Let's get rid of the box for the moment. It's quite massive. Hmm. I wonder what is it. Oh, this is quite heavy. I cannot lift it to remove the plastic okay and I use my hand and chest to shift it okay this is the way the box looks so I'm looking for somewhere that there is a way to open it oh there is something here oh is it looks like oh that's the upside down I have to put it that way Guess what? When you turned it over, the name of what is inside is revealed. You know what it is now. It's a Max Vision 68 degrees uh, eyepiece, 40 millimeter watt. Uh, it's my favorite eyepiece. And I'm now trying to open it. Okay, oh, very elegantly opens. Oh, looks like something. See what is this? This is phone here. Ooh. This is the oh, is it an eyepiece really? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, let me push it back. Everything. This is an eyepiece. There's a second bag. I have to find a way to open it. This looks elegant. The size of it. It's a two inch eyepiece. This means the barrel size for the eyepieces should be two inch to fit this. That's the heaviest eyepiece I have. Oh, look at it. So heavy. Forty millimeter. That's massive. Let me put a cap on. It looks like a, almost a pineapple. <laughs> okay. It's a pineapple. <laughs> I have a pineapple here, really, a real pineapple. Let's put it beside this pineapple that I've arrived. I've received from Germany. You can compare them. They look a bit in the 21st century that this is an eyepiece design Eugenian 
Christian Huygens probably invented it in the 17th century, the same century that the telescope was invented by Italians and the Dutch and everybody else, it seems. This is the box of it, and compare it with the box of this Max Vision. So, okay, now let's put our Japanese treasure high piece beside our, our Chinese high piece, which made in China for the meat company by uh, Export Scientific China, which is a Chinese company owned by China. Uh, meat cancelled it. And uh, the order was around since 2012 or 13 in the telescope markets. And uh, eventually, because this was selling one fourth of the price of the meat, meat discontinued it. All that this is really good airfoil design or kind of like a panel tick. But you see how the size compares to what you have. This is a, a 0 0.965. Uh, Japanese style 40 millimeter eyepiece, good I must say, for its own. And this is a Max Vision multi coated and 68 degrees 40 millimeter eyepiece. I have to remove the end cap so you can see proper reflection. So, this is our eyepieces. Okay, this is my uh, Meet LX200 EMC with the uh, Max Vision 40 millimeter, 68 degrees field of view eyepiece. As you can see, it's quite substantial, and the telescope has taken it well. Uh, I think probably. This is because this one has a metal gears, hopefully, LX200. But I think the LX90 maybe not, cannot take this. I've not tested it, but I'm just guessing. I may be wrong, but anyway, we have it now here. And I will run a test when there is moon around, just to see how it will look with the moon. Clear skies permitting. But the whole setup looks sturdy enough to me. This is my Max Vision uh, Pineapple 40 millimeter uh, eyepiece, 68 degrees. And let's attach this uh, filter to it. Yeah, my wife is asking, can I come in? Yes, you can come in. You want a lemonade? Okay. That's the eyepiece. And now let's look through it. Anyway, very impressive.
going to use this piece, this uh, pineapple, uh, Max Vision fully multi coated uh, 68 degrees 40 millimeter. It's more than one kilo, it's around uh, 1200 kilo, three pounds. Let's see if we can take it. Wow, the telescope easily takes. This is one and a half kilo about, this is one and a half kilo, three kilos of weight and also the diagonal itself. The three kilo, easy, he's taking it. The, is really good. Mid 80, mid uh, LX 200 EMC. And with everything attached to it, he takes it. Again, reaches focus easily. See round the stars, <laughs> something close to an iris disc. <laughs> I never saw that. This is the reddest I'm looking. I don't know where it is. It can be mirror in the Cetus constellation, but it's kind of roundish. And the time is now around. Let me tell you, 5:40 in the evening, and uh, I'm looking almost to the direction of the south west and what I can see is probably one of the stars of the Cetus or Ketus uh, or oh, it can be another star I don't know but it looks very round like a planet it doesn't have any twinkle or anything I reached a perfect focus with this <laughs> round star and I see a lot more actually when we reach focus you see a lot more stars all the faintest stars which were invisible now come into view Describe the weather. It was uh, raining all the day and now it is half cloudy, half rainy and we will expect some rain again. And in this weather, which is very turbulent, I must say, you never see uh, anything more than the turbulent, uh, shaky stars, no round shape. With this, I actually focus them. It's really good, really good. I'm impressed. I never could reach focus unless it was really good, good air conditions and uh, st steady and stabilized air movement now i can actually reach the focus very very much impressed easy okay, the tests i've done really good uh, from now on the big advantage of this i'm telling you is this from now on i don't need to remove the two inch uh, focuser two inch diagonal or anything like that i just use this uh, adapter for any ips which is not two inch like uh, one and a quarter inch or even the Japanese style 0 0.956 inch ones so I can put this for adapter to one and a quarter then adapter one and a quarter to um, Japanese style less than one inch one comes into this and I can use everything without removing any of this that means perfect <laughs> perfect chance to use all my pieces in one go without the need to change the setup every time big trouble solved thank you astro revelation presser for giving this adapter for free